Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making fried rice. It's gonna be good, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some parsley up. As well, I have some green onion, put that aside. Next, we're gonna do half a yellow onion and we're gonna chop that. Okay, so we're gonna dice these onions up. That's a fair amount, we're good. We don't need too much. So next what you're going to want is some already cooked bacon. I cooked mine in the oven, so grab a few pieces, as many as you want. If you like a lot of bacon in your fried rice, go ahead and put a lot. It's a little bite-sized pieces. And I think we'll add a couple more, or a few more. So this next step is optional. I put Chinese style pork and chicken sausage in. You don't have to put that. If you just prefer bacon, go for it. Usually I skin these, because I don't really like the skin on pretty much anything, if you realize that now. Um, so I'm just going to take the skin off and then I'm going to chop these up into little pieces. You see, the skin is fairly easy on some of these. Not all of them, but some of them. So I am back. I chopped up my Chinese sausage. Fry this up a little bit. just let it sit there for a minute because we need them to be a little bit crunchy our next step what we're going to need is some rice this is day old rice it's better if it's a couple days old but the older the better believe it or not peas and corn optional onion parsley and we have our green onion I don't think I need to show you that bean sprout. I use light premium soy sauce, dark soy sauce, which dark is normally for color. That's how you get that dark, rich brown. And I do put a little bit of pepper in it. So we're going to turn this on and I'm going to go ahead and put my yellow onion in there and my peas and corn. And we're just gonna cook that until the onion is pretty much translucent. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of an onion frying. Onion and garlic together as well. Ooh! Just smells really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that three day old rice, which mine is one, but that rice that you've had sitting in the fridge for a couple days. This is also good when you have takeout. That white rice that they give you, put that in the fridge and make some fried rice with it in the next couple days, you know?
And we should have this on like a high-ish heat. The first thing I'm going to put is some sesame oil. Some dark soy. And remember, that's for color. It does have a little bit of a taste. So that's probably about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. And now we're gonna go in with our light soy. And we're gonna do about a tablespoon for now. Make sure you get all the clumps. It smells really good. Now once it's all mixed in, I'm gonna add my bean sprout and my bacon and my sausage. Doesn't that look good? That looks really, really good to me. Oh. See here where I live, our rice, is it, this is the color that we get from Chinese restaurants. But I noticed that in different countries, <clears throat> US, they don't know, <laughs> they normally leave out the dark soy, which is fine to each their own, but this is how we're used to it, so. I'm gonna add our meat. Bacon and sausage. Woo. I'm going to add our bean sprout. That might be a little too much. Our green onion. And of course, our parsley. This smells so good. Sorry for that. Oh my goodness, this looks like takeout. This is exciting. I have to say, vegan fried rice is my favorite. One of my favorite things to get anyways. Oh goodness. This looks incredible. I don't know if the camera's even picking this up. This really sucks that um, my lighting isn't the greatest in here. But... And don't stop turning and mixing. Enough, an egg. So what we're gonna do, create a little hole. You're supposed to do that when the egg is in. I forgot, I'm so sorry. But you can still do it now, so it's okay. And you're just going to stir and stir. Let it sit a minute. and start incorporating the rice. I might even put a second one in because of the amount that I have here. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make fried rice. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with putting that egg in last at all. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do a second one as well. 
I also do think it does need a little bit more of the light soy. Remember, flavor for the, the light soy and regular soy. And the dark soy is for coloring. <laughs> The second one in. Oh, it smells so good. So good. You have no idea. It's really just that simple. That is it in a nutshell, guys. I'm just gonna stir this a little bit more so the egg can... can disperse evenly throughout the rice. And that's it. Done. That looks fantastic. Does it smell good? It smells amazing. Good. <laughs> smell. He said you could smell it from outside. So that is it. That is everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Actually, no, this video isn't even over because I have Korean fried chicken to do. So. 